Hi, I'm Carl Tannenbaum, Chief Economist for Northern Trust. Driving vacations enjoyed renewed popularity during the pandemic. They limited exposure to people outside of family bubbles and avoided sky-high airfares. And nowadays, digital diversions are far superior to spot the license plate games for avoiding boredom while on the road. Unfortunately, gasoline prices soared so much last summer that it might have been cheaper to fly. The high price of natural gas raised electric rates and the costs of hotels and rental flats. There really was no escaping the high costs of energy. Energy prices have receded since then, but the need for nations to design a long-term energy strategy has not. Ever since the first OPEC oil embargo nearly 50 years ago, countries have been struggling to manage cost, conservation, cartels, and carbon footprint. This balancing act is more urgent today than ever before. Russia's invasion of Ukraine was the latest in a long line of energy shocks that have washed over the world in recent decades. European gas prices nearly quadrupled after the Nord Stream pipeline was closed, and restrictions on purchases of Russian crude caused oil prices to exceed $120 per barrel last June. Most countries were left scrambling to secure needed supplies, Winter temperatures will determine whether they ultimately succeeded. Going forward, there is a desire to limit exposure to unreliable providers. Regaining control over our energy destiny requires generating additional resources and using energy more intelligently. But even countries with proven reserves have found it challenging to bring them to the surface, and many nations have not embraced conservation with sufficient zeal. All of this has to be reconciled with efforts to contain climate change, the consequences of which are being more keenly felt. The immediate challenge of replacing Russian fuels put bending the carbon curve on the back burner for a time. Alternative energy sources have been expanding, but it will be some time before they satisfy a majority of our energy needs. Consumers want energy at friendly prices, that comes from friendly places, and that is friendly to the environment. These three aims form what economists call a trilemma. Achieving all three at once is extraordinarily difficult, and getting two out of the three is no easy feat. A coherent long-term energy strategy can certainly raise the odds of success, but substantial concessions and compromise will be needed to keep everything in balance. We're doing our part. Next summer, we're taking a staycation, and by staycation, I mean we're not leaving our house. We'll keep the lights and the air conditioning off, hoping for long days and cool temperatures. And that's the view from here.